Hello, job seekers. Melanie here with CGL Recruiting. And today we're going to focus on something near and dear to my heart. How can I help my child find a job? Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that now. We have more videos coming out as well as additional live events that we'd love to be able to notify you about. Now, um, for those of you that don't know, I am a mom of three. And I do get a lot of questions and I actually do a lot of speaking on people who are interns or just graduating from college or people that are just graduating from high school or parents asking me, oh my goodness, they've been in my house all forever and now they're about to go out. How can I help my child find a job? And so that's what we're going to focus in on today. So let's take a moment and break this down into a bunch of different steps that will help you and your child. So the first thing I do want to say is you must educate them on the process. I wish somewhere in our high school, our college university time, that there was education for students about the difference between a job and a career and a difference of you know, what this process is instead of just saying, congratulations, you graduated and dump them out there and expecting them to learn it on their own. Now, do some universities and stuff offer, you know, free classes and stuff afterwards? Yes, but they're offering at a time where the students have so much going on, it can be hard for them to realize the importance of being educated on this process. And the last thing I want your child to do is to take advice from another student who saw something flashy on social media and thinking, oh, this is the be all end all, this is how I'm gonna find a job. So you do need to help them be educated on the process. Now we all know as parents that sometimes it can be very difficult for us to provide that education to our children. And sometimes it is better for them to hear it from additional sources. There's lots of great resources out there. We have some videos that go towards freshers and interns and, and students that are graduating. So sometimes if you don't feel like you can be the right one to do that message, look out and find some resources that you value and trust that you think can help you with this process. The next thing is we're so focused with our children and the schooling systems on hard skills. Um, and it's not a very big focus for students on competencies. And that is one of the things that will make or break them in any job, in any career. Most of them haven't even really thought about what are my core competencies? What do I do really well? Am I good at public speaking? Am I really analytical and able to you know, analyze problems and situations? Am I a very creative person? Now, it's something that you can help identify what some of these competencies are for your child. Now, it, there are different things that you can also do, different competency assessments. You've probably heard of DISC and Caliper and so many others. So if your child is not aware of their base competencies and what they do really well, and you think that they're just not listening to you because you're the parent, there are lots of competency assessments that you can actually have them take or recommend they take, which will help them find this. A lot of times you will be able to get these from for free from the high school or college or university that your student went to that they can go in and take it. My only concern with these is a lot of times the student will take one and then they will say, oh, great, you took this, you're great in communication. That means you should be a blah, 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 blah. And it narrows the path too fast for them in their career. And it makes me, uh, you know, a little nervous. I like that it says, you know, here are jobs you might want to consider. I just don't like when it narrows it too much. Which brings me to my third one that you can do to help your child find a job. And that is to help them explore. Most kids have a very limited, and I say kids, right? By the time they're graduating from college, they're in their 20s, right? They may be later than that if they went to advanced college. Um, but at that point in time, most of them have not had a lot of exposure to different industries or even to different professions. When in your career do you learn about health, safety, and in environmental things if you didn't take a degree plan that was right down that path? So 
if you took a general business degree, if they got a liberal arts degree, or if they just graduated from high school, a lot of times they don't understand the full plethora of positions that are available to them. And so that's part of how you can help them is to help them explore. Now, I do this with my kids now, even though they're you know younger, is I actually talk them through, well, this person's job is doing this. Do you see that? It's that's uh, somebody who does that is in marketing. Somebody who does this is in sales, you know, and explain some of those as we go on, trying to give them those little snippets that are easily digestible. But even if they're graduating out and they're ready to hit that full workforce, you can still do this by helping them see a broader set of jobs and helping them see a broader set of industries. Do they even know all the industries even exist at this point? So when you're trying to help them, another thing is to go back. They, again, kids at the end of their graduating of different things, they tend to forget the career centers that are available to them from their high school, college, university. And usually there are lots of resources available, including jobs that are looking to hire people fresh out of school. So it is a great way for you to help your student to remind them of those resources and even even maybe help them, you know, do you want me to visit this career center with you? I realize that's more of a high school than a college thing, but those type of things and those resources, they don't understand necessarily the value yet. So by you helping them, re reminding them that those resources are there for them can help them to find that next job. Okay, this next one's a little bit hard as parents. We need to realize that our children's paths may be different. And so even though I love HR and I can see some of my kids being very good at HR, that may not be their path. So how you can help them as a parent is making sure they understand a broader perspective. You need to realize that their path might be different than yours. If you're just only talking about, yes, I'm an attorney and it's the best thing ever and it's this, 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 they may do it to please you and to be happy instead of doing something that matches their skills and, and in, in uh, internal competencies and what they really wanna do instead of you. So realize that your child's path may be different than the path that you took. Okay, here's another one that is so easy to do and so many parents don't do. Help your child build out their network. Now, hopefully by this point in time, they already have a LinkedIn profile. You have a bunch of people hopefully you're connected with on LinkedIn. It is very easy. You can share profiles. Share your child's profile out with your network and say, hey, you know, this is my son and he's trying, he's graduating, he's looking for a job in this, and I'm trying to assist him building out his network. If anybody is open and willing to connect with him, I'd really appreciate it. People are inherently good and people will inherently help build out those networks. They're not going to go looking for them, but maybe they've been around them a lot in different company functions you're at. They may know more about your kids than you think. Help them build out the network because it's a very daunting task to start from almost zero and try to get up to a network that can actually help you. Okay, the next thing is you at this point in time are very aware of a, a lot of the different government programs and nonprofit programs that are out there and available for you. Like, um, you know, when every kid gets their first paycheck, well, not every kid, but a lot of them, they see all the taxes coming out and they're like, what, what is that? Or when they lose their job, a lot of them don't know about unemployment in the US and how to do that. And somebody has to guide them through that process. And that's the same thing you want to do with their job search. The government, both at the federal level, the states, the cities offer tons of programs to help people in the workforce. Some of them offer free training. Some of them offer free job boards. Some of them offer internships. Take the time to help your child realize all of the things that are available and out there for them. The whole rest of their career, they're going to be paying into those systems. Why not take advantage of them now to help them get that very first job or to help them get started on their career? Okay, two more to go. The next one is help them find a mentor. Now, I realize you may want to be that mentor for your child, and you may be able to. 
But the same way you and your career have probably had more than one mentor and more than one individual that you looked up to and you got skills from this person on leadership and you got skills on this person on, you know, problem solving and you learned so much inner inner industry information from this person. Having more than one mentor and people that can help you see the world in different ways and advance your skills is brilliant. Help your child find a mentor. They may not have a lot of people that they have connections yet in their industry or in their area. If there's, are there some connections that you can make to help them find that first mentorship? If you can, it will really go a long way to help them not only in their job, but in their career. Okay, here's the last one. How can you help your, your child find a job and even get a career? You have to be there for them in the highs and the lows. It is so hard, this process, for so many people who already have 30 years of working under their belt. You realize how personal this is of a process. Now imagine that you just graduated and you have no experience and everybody's telling you you're not qualified and you're unsure what you wanna do and what industry and what, it is overwhelming. So how can you help them? be there for them, help them celebrate their small successes and help them celebrate their large ones, but be there when they have their downs and when they think they found a great company in a great position and they don't get the job. That's kind of our primary goal as parents. We're there in the good times and the bad. I truly hope that this list helps you um, help your child find that dream job and find the career that they are so incredibly worthy of. All right, everyone, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.